once you're logged in and your login should be your S number without the S for a username and password, you can go to any of the genres that they have listed be um, in front of us. And so I'm going to pick a social studies book. And then I'm going to pick a biography. And let's learn about um, I don't know, what can be? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> So now you're going to click read and you have an option to add it to your list in case you want to read it later. And below is the toolbar so if you don't want the book to read to you, you could put it on um, mute or on mute. And then in case the book is reading to you, uh, it highlights either one word or a sentence. And if you want to just highlight the word, you go to the bottom right. Uh, the nearest to the corner, and you can unhighlight the sentence. And if you want it, if you don't want any highlighting, you can just unhighlight the word too. Um, on the farthest left to the home button, there's a highlighter where if you want to highlight um, information, for example, a New York City private college on February 27th, 1860, I could highlight that. And then if I want to make a note, you can click the thumbtack inside the oval circle. And you can just click anywhere, and then you're allowed to type whatever you want. So this is interesting. And then it will save your note So whenever you want to. And then you can also click the pen or the paintbrush, which is right next to the highlighter on the left. And you could draw um, just anything. So like if you need help reminding where the calendar works, you draw a little calendar. And then they also have shapes where you can just pick any shape, so a circle. And if you want to like underline something, you could underline this for any part of the book you want. And then this is just another note that you could use, that you could title and it's saved for you. And this is how you use it. So once you read the book, so I'm just going to go through this. And when you get to the last page, it has um, the arrow. Instead of an arrow, it has the end bar. So you click end, and you have the chance to rate the book. So um, whatever. And then you could write a uh, review. And this is a good book. And um, if you're reading for a class, I suggest you write an actual review. And then you could save your review, and it shows up. When, and then they give you a test. Uh, so you could answer the questions and your teacher could understand your learning or how you um, learn the book. So this is how you use Mayan.